What's up, YouTube? This is Bystander XMA9. Guys, I'm here on the official Konami product page because Konami just dropped a massive bomb on the Speed Dueler format. We are now looking at the product page for the Speed Duel box. The name for the product is still tentative, but who knows? I might even keep that name. Okay, so basically what's going to happen is, is that this Speed Duel box is based off of the Battle City um arc from the anime. The first four booster sets were actually off, uh, based off of the Duel's Kingdom arc, so now we're going to be getting just an entire set for the Battle City in one go, which is not bad. I mean, it also kind of explains that why we are only having been getting booster sets for Speed Duels, which does make a lot more sense. This is going to be based similar to what they did with the Duel Devastator last year, where we get a static set amount of cards in this box. Last year, I think Dual Devastator was, what, about 50 cards? You guys can correct me in the comment section below, but yeah, we, it was the same 50 cards in each box. Um, the only thing that was random was the field centers. This time around, what we're going to be getting is we're going to be getting uh, a static 200 card set. The set is designed not only to boost uh, your current speed dual decks, but it's also designed to be utilized for draft play, which is actually very awesome. Out of the 200 cards, 193 of these cards are brand new to speed dueling, so we're getting the majority of what we would probably have gotten through this, the core booster sets they would have released this year in one go, which is still awesome. And some of the new cards, yeah, look at this. Boom. We're getting the guy cards. They're giving us triple tribute monsters that are just insane. And, oh my god, just putting these cards into speed duels is just amazing. But then again, it does make sense since this is based off Battle City, and Battle City was held to get for Kaiba to collect all the guard cards, so it makes sense. Jinzo's making an appearance, which also makes sense because we are supposed to be getting some skill cards for Esperoba. Um, I'm thinking maybe some of the maybe some of the support from the legendary duelists might be coming over in this particular speed duel set. Maybe some of the spells might be the what they're using for the, the skills, which isn't bad. Uh, Dark Paladin, you, he's got that fusion that can take down Kaiba and his bull eyes, and Kaiba's getting his XYZ Dragon Cannon. So, very, very cool. Other characters, they're going to be introduced. Ode Odeon, Arcana, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Umbra and Loomis pick up their own skills. We get more Marek support, maybe some strings. Hopefully, we're going to be seeing more Amazamas support for my, probably maybe some more Hyper support, and probably more Gravekeeper support for Ishizu, because I know there was a lot, there were a, another wave of Gravekeeper support that was in Soul Fusion that we never got released in the Speedles, so that would be actually pretty awesome to help boost up the decks. Uh, 20 skill cards, 16 are brand new, okay, so it'll probably fit these characters. So that's very awesome. And they're also giving away a special um, prize pack that includes eight secret rares from a pool of 24 cards. So we're getting a set number of skill cards, 20 cards, 200 card set of commons. So that's 220, and then there's a pool of 24 cards, which you're only getting eight secret rares out of. Uh, well, we don't know if these are brand new cards or if they're going to be... Uh, rarity upgrades, but still getting secret rares into speed duels is pretty damn awesome. Because this set is also designed for draft duel, there are going to be four two-player deluxe game mats. So the question is, is that are these going to be paper mats or rubberized mats? I'm kind of hoping for the latter, but no one can tell me we'll probably get paper mats. But whatever it is, this set is completely and totally epic. And I actually am liking this approach better than the booster set approach. Because we're just getting all the speed duel cards we need in one go. We can build up a ton of decks, and it'll just hold us over for a long time. Um, I do hope that Konami might pick up um, a little pace and release more Speed Duel Star Decks. I think those are better products for Speed Duels. They can introduce um, more characters that way, um, and up other characters as well with more support. So that's something that I'm kind of hoping that Konami will maybe do twice a year, get, give us two sets of uh, Star Decks, and then maybe at the end of the year, like this uh, this particular set, we're going to get a big booster set to help increase the card pool overall for speed duels. Um, personally, I'm entirely 
hyped about this. Um, I just personally can't wait to get to see what we're going to be getting in this set. So definitely keep your eyes out for any information about this. I'm definitely going to be keeping my eyes out for the set list. Hopefully, we'll get, hopefully Konami will include the skill cards when they update the card list database. Um, but they ha in the past, they really haven't. So, But still, just being able to get see these cards and speed duels is just going to be amazing. And I, like I said, cannot wait. This is an epic product for speed duels. And I kind of do hope they continue this moving forward. Guys... Let me know down in the description box below what you think of this uh, speed build product. I know I'm insanely hyped. I I want to hear what you want to want to expect out of this set. I'm very curious to hear your suggestions uh, or comments, probably because this is going to be huge. Guys, as always, if you like the content, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content on my channel, make sure to subscribe and name on notifications so you don't miss any uploads. Check out the description box below. Find the links to my affiliates, tggplayer.com, as well as sidedversus.com. Great resources for any Yu-Gi-Oh! player. Follow me on social media, Reddit and Twitter. And if you guys want to help grow my community to even greater heights, the invite link to my Discord server is also in the description box below. Join the conversation. We'd we'll love to have you. As always, guys, until next time. Peace.